In this video, I will cover a brief introduction of generative AI technologies and how these are different to conventional AI technologies. Clearly, differentiating between these two technologies can facilitate operational risk professionals to have more thoughtful and insightful conversations with their business stakeholders. I'm Manoj Kulval, and I'm co-founder and chief risk officer at Risk Spotlight. At Risk Spotlight, our AI practice specializes in generative AI technologies and how these can enhance the productivity and quality of risk management activities in financial services industry. For this video, I'm going to contrast generative AI with narrow AI. First, let me cover narrow AI technologies. Narrow AI technologies are built for specific use cases and hence I'm referring to them with the label narrow. In our common business discussions, when someone refers to AI, this is typically what they are referring to. This is mainly because these AI technologies have been with us for the last 10 to 15 years and have been widely implemented across many financial services firms. Example of implementation of narrow AI technologies in operational risk management include credit card fraud detection, detecting malicious transactions on IT network to manage cyber risks, and detecting money laundering transactions. All of these are examples of narrow AI technologies being used as part of controls to manage operational risks. Examples of implementation of narrow AI technologies in first-line use cases include marketing team predicting customer churn, AI-based algorithmic trading, and credit scoring models based on unstructured data such as social media content of a customer. Developing and implementing these technologies is a major undertaking. They need extensive data for training, significant IT infrastructure for execution, and a team of seasoned AI and data professionals. This makes them resource intensive, often limiting their use to larger firms. Small and medium-sized firms typically do not have the resources required to take benefits of these technologies. Now, let me cover the key aspects of the generative AI technologies. These technologies are based on AI models that can generate output in various formats and hence the label generative. They can generate outputs in various formats such as text, videos, images, and audio. The term generative AI became widely known in November 2022 when OpenAI launched ChatGPT and it signed up 100 million users in the first two months. This made it the fastest adopted technology of all time ever created by humans. The adoption was faster than mobile phones social media, and even the internet. Examples of implementation of Gen AI technologies in operational risk management include identifying risks related to a business process, identifying controls to mitigate an operational risk, and build detailed cyber risk scenarios. Examples of implementation of Gen AI technologies in first-line use cases include marketing team brainstorming ideas for developing advertising content, chatbot to provide wealth management advice to clients, and IT team utilizing Gen AI to write code. The purpose of founding OpenAI was to develop and provide advanced AI technologies to everyone to counter the influence of large technology firms holding the benefits of AI technologies. Due to this unique mission, OpenAI has made its advanced generative AI models available for free, and the premium version of the model is available only for $20 to $30 per user per month. When was the last time you saw a transformative technology made available to everyone in the world for free or for $20 to $30 per month? Due to this, now even small and medium-sized firms can adopt these AI technologies and drive tremendous productivity benefits. A key benefit of generative AI technologies is that it can provide access to expertise on wide range of topics. The Gen AI models are trained on large amounts of data available on the internet. 
Due to this, they can provide access to expertise on wide range of topics such as fitness, nutrition, business strategy. They can be maths tutor for your kids and be your travel guide when you go on holiday. For risk management, these models also provide access to expertise on credit, market, strategy, reputational risk, and of course, they also provide expertise on operational risk management. Our AI practice has analyzed over 100 operational risk use cases where Gen AI models can provide significant productivity benefits and enhance the quality of risk management. A sample of use cases where Gen AI can be utilized for the first line are highlighted here. A sample of use cases where generative AI models can be utilized by the second line are highlighted here. Since generative AI models are defined to work with text information, the use of these models can also be extended beyond operational risk to many other risk management and compliance related topics highlighted here. While generative AI models provide access to wide range of expertise, you can only get access to these benefits if you utilize effective prompts. A prompt is a question you ask the AI model to gain access to the model's expertise. All operational risk professionals now need to learn a new skill called prompt engineering, which involves writing effective prompts to maximize the benefits you can gain from the AI models. In the example here, I have asked a question to ChatGPT to provide three key business benefits of managing operational risks in a financial services firm. You can see the responses provided by ChatGPT to this question. This is an example of an easy prompt. However, if you want to utilize the AI models for real operational risk management cases, then you need to write a more structured prompt. Let me demonstrate an example of identifying operational risks for a business process using a simple prompt versus an effective prompt. This will allow you to see the benefits of learning prompt engineering. I'm logged into ChatGPT now, and let me show you a simple prompt for risk identification. I will paste the prompt text here. In this prompt, I'm asking for a list of five operational risks for a business process called account opening and onboarding. I'm providing details of the process, such as the process title, the process description, and list of activities performed as part of this business process. Let me submit this prompt so I can show you the output of this prompt. So here you can see ChatGPT has given list of five operational risks, but these are not very useful. These risks are very high level, very generic, like data security and privacy, compliance and regulatory. So now let me demonstrate the same example, but this time with prompt engineering. In this prompt, I'm requesting the risks to be identified for the same business process. However, I'm being very specific with my prompt and providing detailed instructions to the AI model to ensure that it provides me with a high quality output. I'm giving the model a persona of an expert for identifying operational risks related to business processes in the retail banking industry. 
I'm explicitly specifying the risk categories for which I want it to identify the operational risks. I'm requesting the output to be in the table format so I can easily copy and paste it in Excel. And I'm requesting four columns in the table, the risk title column, the risk description column, and some banking examples. In this case, I'm asking for two banking examples for each risk and the risk category column. For the risk title column, I'm specifying that the title should be eight to 12 words long, and it should not provide any generic risks like geopolitical risk or vendor dependency risks in its output. I'm also specifying that every risk title should contain a verb which should highlight the main event that would occur as part of that particular risk. So let me submit this prompt so you can see the output based on this prompt. So here you can see the output is now in a table format with the four columns I requested. And you can see the title of the risk is a lot more specific now than what we were getting in our previous prompt, which was without prompt engineering. So I have a very specific title, which is then related to the business process. I have a description, and then I have two banking examples of how this risk could occur in a retail bank. And because I've asked for risks for three risk categories, it's also then specifying which risk category each risk relates to. Hopefully this demonstrates the benefit of prompt engineering to you. You can see that the quality of output that has been produced by prompt engineering is significantly better than the output we saw from a generic prompt. To help operational risk professionals learn the new skill of prompt engineering, we have developed a 15-hour training course. You can find the details of this course on the training page on our website, riskspotlight.com. Let me show you the details of this course. This is world's first generative AI course focusing on operational risk management. The course covers these key topics you and your team need to learn on key generative AI concepts. The course will focus on these operational risk management use cases to learn examples of how to apply generative AI in context of operational risk management. We can deliver this course in online format or classroom format and also customize it to make the exercises relevant for the operational risk content of your organization. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. If you're interested in exploring more about our prompt engineering course and other services we can provide to facilitate the benefits of generative AI in your organization, then please email us at ai at riskspotlight.com. You can also find more details about our AI offerings at www.riskspotlight.com. Thank you for your time and attention.